Hi guys, today I want to share with you a really cool app I've been using. It's called Glovebox. It saves me a lot of time of my day, so hopefully it will do the same for you. So let's get started right away. Basically, I'll show you how it works. Um, it's a side launcher here that is good for multitasking and jumping through screens. Um, the This is the free version that allows you to have eight, and the paid version allows you to have unlimited and for counts as well. As long as if you have like an email or uh, messaging or something on this, it will have counts on it as well. So this is the eight, that's mine. So I'll let, I'll let you see how it works. So let's say I'm from my home screen here. I'll just turn that on. And I wanna jump to Chrome. Or I'll just jump to my YouTube. And then I'll jump to my Play Store. Okay, there you go. And also another feature you can do is just slide all the way to bring you back home, which is really cool. So let's get into the settings and such. Here is the eight that you're allowed. So you can swipe it away. As you can see, I just swiped away my banking. And if you want to add one, just go to this plus sign on top. And as it's asking you um, which one you want, you can have, as you can see here, you can have any application, any folder that you created, and also any shortcuts actions that are built into the app which is a lot of them are very useful but I don't use them and also widgets as well the floating widgets would be part of the paid version and you have your music player which I do have and your quick settings for this so I have mine set up like this so I just deleted my banking so I'm gonna put it back okay and there it is right there and I can, I can also move it up and down as you can see, whoops. So I'll just move this up where it was originally. And also, as you can see, my icons are customizable to what I want here. Gallery, my gaming, and my uh, media files. So if you want to change the icon, it's very easy. Basically, you just, let's say I want to edit this YouTube icon. You press on the icon here. And then you can have a default icon, gallery, or icon pack. There's nothing in the icon pack right now as developers uh, don't have anything yet. So I'll, let's say I'll just change it in my gallery and I'll just use something from my gallery. Uh, let's say I want to use this screenshot here. And save. So there you go. Um, as you can see, it's my, it changes already. This is right here would be my YouTube. So if I press on it, it should take me to YouTube. There you go. And I go back. So that's how you add and change the illustration of your icons, which is really cool. Um, you can have your own personal touches. So I can just change it back here. Go to default icon. There you go. And save. Okay, and here next on your settings, your trigger. This one, if you go to the triggers here, it you can have all the different triggers. I like it on the right. It's just perfect for me. And as you see, with the, if you notice uh, later on, um, how my setup is it's just kind of perfect. So you might you might not even need. If you can set it up just how I have it. You'll probably be happy. So this basically this vis visible trigger is gives you this little black thing you can use like that. But I uncheck it, um, make sure it's not checked, and you get this. And it's more. I don't know, it just works a lot smoother and it's more, um, and you can have it on your left or right. But I like this uh, bar and it disappears too. And uh, trigger style would be light, dark, or gray for that little half moon thing you saw there, but I don't use that. It's not as reliable as the actual long bar. And uh, haptic feedback, pause and landscape. A lot of people don't like um, glove box to be active when they're typing messaging or something on. Uh, or when they're in landscape mode, but I don't find any problems with that. I have no issues, so I just I leave like that as it is um, Functioning all the time. So let's say if I'm in here And then, there you go see it works just fine even with messaging. Let's say I go messaging uh, Right here So if I want to go press P I go press P. It's, it's not it's not an issue. But I want to slide so I still have all that option <laughs> So that pause and landscape, you know, some people like, like it, some people don't. But uh, with me, it's uh, no issues. 
Okay, so next we're gonna go on to per sidebar. Um, it shows notification, override status bar, animations. You could have some, I don't like it because you know, I don't need it and it saves battery too. This is the full swipe action. So if you wanna just go like this, it takes you home. Um, quick swipe action would be like keep bar closed or keep bar open. So I keep it open, which does this keeps it open but if I go quick close bar I would just close right away if I want to maintain I would just press and hold and I can slide up and down which is really neat as well but I like it this how it is with uh, keep bar open just so I can go like this and have a pick and choose and also the scroll inside swipe so you can have this scrollable inside you can go like this and scroll up and down you can scroll on the outside inside that's up to you, um, personal preferences. Okay, and these lock screen stuff I don't need. Folders, these are all the folders I've created. You can create your own. Uh, you can have it stacked, stacked from the top or the bottom. Uh, as you can see here, let's say my folder, my game folder is down here, stacked from the bottom uh, as it's checked off. So, I, so if I stack it from the top, it's unchecked. Oops. So it's at the top now, there you go. I like it at the bottom. So I just keep it like that. Next is blacklists, all the uh, other things. I don't really use it. You can have a blacklist of apps you don't want to use. And also more advanced. There you go, and it's just a couple of things you need to know and developer options and stuff like that. And here is the full version. This is $3.83, it gives you unlimited apps within the uh, the bar here and you can scroll up and down. Floating widgets, un unread counts, pin recent tasks, override lock screen. Uh, I don't need to use them. Um, I've been using this app for quite a while and I didn't really, I still don't need that. I uh, think I need to pay for it, but who knows? I might uh, change my mind later on, but as of right now, it works perfectly. The one thing about this app that I really appreciate compared to all the other side launchers is that even though they give you eight for the f full version or paid version, um, I'm sorry, the free version gives you eight, which I have, but if you can live with folders, you can have unlimited, unlimited amounts of apps. So here's a folder from a media that I use on a regular basis. Here, there's, as you can see, there's way more than eight here. And here's another folder here for games. So even though they say eight, you can have more and also they have actions and toggles. Here's a media player that can be launched from any screen. So even if I'm playing a game and I don't like the game music, I can play my music right away just by launching this. And it works really smooth, no glitches, no freezing, everything. Everything works really well. So take a look about uh, at Glovebox if you're into saving some time out of your day. And you know, it's just, it helps me. So thanks for watching guys and let me know if you, this has helped you in any way and uh, I'll try to get another video for you next time.